हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू डॉट प्रोग्रामिंग डॉट ब्लॉग स्पॉट डॉट कॉम टूडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू हाउ टू डू द कार्ड ऑपरेशन इन ई एस पी डॉट नेट एम बी सी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन एप्लीकेशन डाटा फोल्डर यू कैन एड योर डाटा बेस फाइल एंड बाई यूजिंग द सर्वर एक्सप्लोर यू कैन क्रिएट सम टेबल्स एंड फील्ड and input some data in the uh, into some tables okay so that's the process is uh, too much simple and you can do also in asp.net web forms and windows form also okay that's uh, too much fine mm, let's check it uh, how to insert and uh, how to create a table using visual studio in asp.net mvc Mm. after that creating your table uh, the logic is first to uh, create a data context uh, by using the edmx model okay because uh, you can retrieve data from data context classes so create a data context by using the model first approach okay that this is the second step and the third step is create a controller class and uh, in which we can call that class which is mapped to the database table and also create create details and card operation options for the view let's check it i know my pc is too much slow but please keep patience uh, i will show you how to show your data in asp.net mvc which is picked from your database table so here we have a employee table in which we uh, in which we have a default field that is id and also this is primary key now the second name is emp name i mean to say employee name that is variable type character 50 employee city also variable type 50 okay now update the database this is the simple method you can do uh, in visual studio uh, for creating a database table if uh, you are working in visual studio 2010 simply click on the floppy sign or this floppy symbol on your menu bar to save the table now uh, input some data into the table one employee name is jacob employee city is new york okay now come to the second part again uh, open table definition uh, to making uh, identity uh, of the id column by using is identity column or you can also write in uh, query builder uh, in the queries identity and also update the table after that uh, you cannot put some value into the id column because automatically put by the visual studio or sql server again open mm, show table data bill and also new york yeah id is automatically inserted 
now come to the second part that is adu.net entity data model so first of all add a new item adu.net entity data model click add select a database from your uh, for the context uh, okay wait uh, for few seconds to for appear screen yeah in this window select ef designer window for your model and database is database.mdf from the drop down list next entity framework uh, you can select your older version also now pick uh, that database table stored procedure and many more things from this context Mm, in this tutorial I have picked I will pick the uh, table from this model wizard okay so here we have employee table move to the our controller okay now the third step is add a new controller uh, you can check your dot web dot config file uh, where you can see your connection string okay that is uh, created by the EF designer model uh, entity framework designer model okay now Uh, wait for a few seconds because uh, your model classes appear on your screen with the navigations feature because uh, in this table uh, we have not a navigations properties so only the properties of the class is shown okay sorry for uh, for your time but I will uh, after the end of video you notice this is the easiest way to do some card operation in ASP.NET MVC okay uh, okay uh, let's to talk about uh, some uh, ef uh, entity framework yeah your table is appear on your screen that is employee with the three fields ID EMP name and uh, employee city now save this and close it window okay you can check uh, your uh, connections or you can say data uh, context in your model folder again come to solution explorer here we have a uh, entity framework in the reference folder and in model one.edmx we have a context class that is database entities context class okay now open it by using this employees property that is um, uh, db set employees employees we can retrieve on the uh, all the values from the model class that is employee okay now uh, I not want to uh, write some code for the card operation because uh, in this tutorial I will show uh, the easiest way to show the card operations in ASP.NET MVC so here we have employee class 
in later video sessions i'm sure about uh, you know the curve, what is the card operation in esp.net and how it's work and you design by using code so add a controller mvc controller with view using entity framework controller with the view okay now select the model class that is employee database context class database entities and employee controller the name of the controller here that is home controller okay that is the default controller where your navigation is moved there was error running the selected code generated there was an error, error types oops getting some error because first to build the project and after that uh, you can do the same process build started and build succeed okay that's fine now again comes to the same process right click on it on your controller folder add the controller with the views that is the third option in visual studio 2013 using entity framework so model class is employee database context class and controller is home controller okay now wait for few seconds uh, view and your controller class added successfully then you can run your uh, website or the code of mvc into your browser Uh, MVC code is too much simple as compared to the web forms uh, you write some codes for MVC it's much pretty as compared to web form so these are the views okay now that's the option of the views uh, where your create delete and some features automatically added into the views now run your application and check the card operations is working successfully either successfully or not okay now click on that uh, green triangle button to run the application the default action method call that is index and respective views also call for viewing uh, viewing the application so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to asp.net mvc uh, i promise you uh, you'll learn better from my channel and please subscribe it after watching this video tutor tutorial uh, because i will provide you uh, better and better better videos because i am a beginner and uh, I upload videos until the end of the MVC. I promise you. So thank you, thank you very much for watching this video tutorial again.